Yes, I know I am exactly three years late reviewing this in your monitor, the 2021 Moondrop variations. And you can call me royally late to the party, but I say there's no one better to talk about this than a fresh set of eyes. So let's see how this premium IEM holds up in 2024. I hope you're curious just as I am. Before we get into the meat of things, let's quickly talk about the specs and do a little bit of a close up here. The Moondrop variations retail for $520. It was 523 years ago and it still is today. The drivers are very unique here, guys. It's a tri-brid hybrid setup of two Sonion electrostatics. Electrostatics in an IEM for crying out loud. That's super awesome to see. They're in charge of the highs. They're two softier balance armatures for the mids and a 10 mil dynamic driver taking care of the low end. And that's her side. As you can see, the faceplate is kind of plain Jane for a moon drop. It's nothing flashy here. It's a stainless steel with some cross hash design there, sandblasted. It is really nicely made. It's really quality piece here, guys. And the casing itself is completely 3D, uh, 3D printed. It's a medical resin. Uh, and you can see here right through the light, it's slightly translucent. I think this is called black smoke or something. Uh, they are dedicated tubes for each of the drivers that end in this really large uh, output port. You can see three of them individually right there. And because this is rather large too, the uh, year tips have to be proprietary. So thankfully, if you need replacements, uh, they offer plenty of uh, it in the box, but also you can buy them. So putting them on is super fast, guys. Removing them, putting them on is just like a cinch, really nice. And speaking of the year tips, um, there are three sets or three pairs of silicone and foam that come in the box. Uh, you can quickly swap it out if you want and then carry them in the dedicated carry case. It's black, it pops open like this. With There's no dedicated pocket for accessories. You just put all the accessories and the earbud itself and the cable all together like this and take it with you. There's a Sri Yi Moondrop logo right there in case uh, you can't see it. Uh, I hope it shows up in the camera. Now the connector is just your typical inset right there. Uh, this thing is super well made guys, super awesome. The cable, it's a little bit on the skinny side I would say and the embellishments are kind of plain. We'll talk more about that in a second. In the box too, there are swappable endings. There is, uh, right now we have 3.5. We also have, let me try to bring, where's the packaging? There right here is the rarer 2.5 mm and as well as a 4.4 balance uh, connector. Also in the box, there are filters that according to the uh, paperwork, it says it's 3D printed. So, you know, somebody can confirm this with me, but there are 10 filters as well as a tweezer. A tweezer. And of course, since this is a moon drop, there is the waifu art on the box as well as a collector card of some kind. The fact is not all ears are created equal, right? So your mileage would definitely vary on how comfortable these in-ears will ultimately be for you. But that being said, my higher mileage ear holes tell me that the 3D printed resin shell of the variations is some of the best fit and support they've experienced in a while. So combined with the subtle ear tips and the carefully molded shell, everything fits together like a well-seasoned glove. And honestly, I can wear these for like an hour and a half, two hours without any pressure or heat points. It's subdued, that's for sure. You know, for what you're paying for, it doesn't feel crazy special, which on one hand, is a godsend if you don't want these stolen in public because nothing about the variation shout, hey, look at me, guys. But still, sometimes when I'm showing this off to people or when I'm using it, I occasionally do wish the entire package was a little bit more special. Like, would it have hurt Moondrop to make even the cable not look like something straight out of their parts bin? I know it's not, but it definitely looks like it. But thank the goodness, the variations does extremely well where it counts, which is in the way it produces sound. There's just something relaxed yet fun about the presentation. And the way I see it, or hear it, these things are fundamentally set really close against the Harmon curve, but have sprinkles of other aspects that keep things interesting. So if you like the idea of Sade or Lena Del Rey or Nat King Cole seemingly crooning directly into your ear, you just enjoy the moon drops. It's like they're made for intimate vocals. Now, switching to strictly instrumental tracks exposes a low end that's missing out on some punch, I would say, which again, some might call neutral. I personally really like this kind of tuning, but listeners of genre like rap or bassy rock will probably beg for more, especially wanting some sub bass gusto. 
I also half expected the electrostatics on this thing to be shouty, as electrostats can be sometimes. But here, it's well-controlled, guys, giving things like trumpets and violins plenty of room to breathe as well as coexist. Now, if I were to nitpick, I would say it gets a tad peaky at the 2K range, but that's about it. To be honest, it's actually crazy good how the engineers were able to blend the triple drivers together. Like frequency transitions flow so cleanly between each other. It's really like awesome. By the way, my unit is a refurbed loner, but I still spend my time burning it in. But I felt that even with the burn-in, the variations sounded pretty much the same as when I first took it out of the box. It has this clean, enjoyable, uplifting energy to it. And all that being said though, tethering the variations to a good, at least medium powered amp or DAP is the way to go guys. It probably goes without saying that without the right amount of juice, the Moondrop drivers never have a chance to really wake up. This is crazy. Three years on and I've yet to see frequent discounts, let alone permanent price drops on this thing. And this circumstance generally happens when a manufacturer like Moondrop knows how good a particular premium product is. So they just keep the MSRP the way it is since launch day. I mean, if the demand is there, why sell it for less in it? But that being said, guys, the variation is an excellent premium level IEM. And for the price, its performance is really right on the money, if not more so. Which brings us to my final thoughts and also talk about value. And I guess the $520 question is whether the Moondrop Variations is still a relevant top tier buy in 2024. The short answer, guys, is yes. Although if you draw it out a little bit more, I would say it depends. So firstly, being three years old at this point and still being able to compete at this level is just so impressive. However, the age also means Moondrop could potentially, maybe, possibly drop a new model anytime soon, which in turn could lead to some serious cases of buyer's remorse if you buy it now. But if you want something newer, there's always the Sennheiser IE600, right? Secondly, and this is a big one, technological and manufacturing advancements have certainly trickled premium features down the product line to more affordable alternatives. So nowadays, monitors like the AKG N5005, the Truth Here Nova, or even within the ranks of Moon drop itself like the blessing three are able to get you within i would say maybe 85 to 90 percent of the way to the variation so i'll call that a win well this has been the moon drop variations review and thank you so much for spending your time with me today and right now it's super awesome so a million light points to you for doing that if you'd like to see more content like this I know I'm not perfect, but I'm working on it. If you'd like to see more content nonetheless, remember to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and reshare this channel with your friends. Get the word out there. Thank you so much again for being here. Remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world, guys, because guess what? If you haven't seen the news lately, the world needs it more than ever, and it starts with you. I love you very much, and God bless.